This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Arcane has to be hands down one of the best animation series I've watched in recent years. From the art style to the narrative, Arcane's characters will stay with me for a long time. This week's video will be more than just creating a fan art piece. The awesome team over at Invato are also huge fans of the show, so much so that they wanted to set a challenge for several artists including myself to go toe to toe and see who can create the slickest Arcane inspired piece of artwork. The canvas is blank and we are allowed to choose any subject just as long as it relates to the show. For my piece of fan art, I wanted to zone in on my two personal favourite characters from the show, Vi and Jinx. Instead of making a one-to-one -one shot taken from the show, my aim is to create a more conceptual poster that leans into Vi and Jinx's story, foreshadowing the key instigators in their own individual choices, while also capturing the multi-layered conflicts between Hextech and Shimmer. Colour was used as a device to represent the opposing forces at work throughout Arcane, so I will utilise this in the artwork. Just a quick note to say that this is purely a fan art piece, not a Official. Like in Vato, I love the show and we just had to create something for it. Okay, let's run it. So this piece is definitely going to be a challenge and a little bit different from the usual work we do on this channel. Aside from a few character images, it's going to be a very conceptual piece with lots of experimentation and for the most part just seeing where things go and hoping for the best. I'm piecing together some images for the background. With the idea I've got in mind, I don't think much of the background elements will be seen, so I'm keeping it pretty loose. I'm using these 3D wall elements from Invato to create a floor, and again, most of it will likely be covered, so I'm not too concerned with how good it looks. The idea for this piece is to create a swirling mass of magic and chaos using colours and symbolism from the show to create the two opposing sides represented by our main characters. So to get the ball rolling, I'm using some images of turbulent clouds to form a base which we can then build upon. I love the art style used in the show and the mix of 2D and 3D elements and I want to try and replicate some of that. For some cartoony smoke effects I'm using a hard brush to paint in some swirly lines and then using the smudge tool to soften the edges and create some movement. And then repeat this a few more times so I've got a couple of assets to work with. Let's take a quick break to hear from today's sponsor Invato Elements. It's no secret that I'm a big fan and avid user of Invato Elements. Their huge library of stock assets have been a massive time saver for me on many occasions. We've all experienced the grind when looking for the right stock assets. This process can often suck all your creative energy away before you've even started. That's why it's so important to have that one place like Invato Elements where you can quickly zone in what you're looking for, whether that's stock photos, videos, music or motion graphics. For this week's artwork, I needed a base for the floor. Most of the time you can just pull this from a stock photo, but for this piece I needed a specific angle. Using Invato to Elements 3D library, I quickly found a modular wall that I could angle down to act as a floor. Download a PSD or PNG file and you're done. And if you want to try out other angles, with Invato Elements you get unlimited downloads, download all the assets you want with one subscription. If Invato Elements is for you, they offer 50% off an annual subscription. So rather than paying $33 per month on a monthly plan, you'll be paying $16.50 per month on an annual plan. I'll drop a link in the description below. I can then warp those into position using the arch warp and colour them as needed. And then drop in some more traditional looking smoke just to create some nice wispy tendrils and further add to the movement of the piece. For some cartoonish lightning, I'll use a similar technique I used for the smoke, only this time I'll do slightly sharper jagged strokes and then use a hard brush to erase some of the edges. Using the layer styles, I'll give it some inner and outer glow. And again, just repeated these steps so that I've got a couple to work with. And they turned out all right, I think. I'll use one for the blue side and then one for the purple side. For 
some simple rocks and debris, I can use the lasso tool to draw some simple shapes and then fill them with a dark colour. Then paint in some highlights. Typically I like to use textured brushes for more painterly work, but the show has a very clean look for the most part, so I'm sticking to brushes that are less textured and grungy. Now you're probably looking at this so far and thinking, what the heck's going on? Why all the swirling energy that's surrounding nothing? Well, now it's time to introduce the main characters and centerpiece for the image. Vi and Jinx, and first things first, I need to separate them in order for the narrative to be more in line with the show. It's then a case of filling in any missing parts with assets and paintwork. We've definitely got to have Vi wearing her Hextech gauntlets, so I'll need to add those in too. Colour choices should now make a bit more sense, the bottom side being blue, represented by Vi and Hextech, and the top side being purple for Jinx and Shimmer. And the highlights on our characters need to reflect that. I then had an idea for a quick easter egg. If you've seen one of the official posters, I didn't realise it myself at first, but you can actually see the word Jinx outlined in the hair. So I'm going to do a similar thing and write out the character names and incorporate it into the lightning. This could go wrong and just look cheesy, but we'll give it a go. Eh, doesn't look great, but doesn't look terrible. I think the idea can work, just needs a bit more finesse, so I'll probably revisit that. If you've watched the show, you'll know Jinx is an artist herself, grenades being her canvas of choice, so I'm going to include a few scribbles just to represent that. For the opposing side, I'll create some simple hex tech symbols, give them the same layer style as our lightning, and use the smudge tool to blur and blend with the environment. And then, that's when my screen recorder decided to crash. Fortunately, I didn't lose a ton of work, but let me catch you up real quick. I've given the image a white border, dropped in some glass, and have also introduced our third character, and possibly my overall favourite from the show, Vanda. I'm utilising the smoke effects again to blend the character with the darker area. repeating these steps for Silco along the top of the image. Adding a few light embers with some glow. 
Since we're going for that poster feel, rather than recreating a scene, I thought it might be cool to mimic some of the line art seen in the official branding for the show. For this, I create some lines using the pen tool and then play around with the layer styles to create a gold metallic effect, which ends up looking like this. Eh, uh, not totally convinced by it at this stage, but hopefully it'll work better once the lighting and colors have been addressed. The center of the image feels a bit lifeless, so I've got this cool image of, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to color select the highlights and drop it behind our characters and change the color and blending mode to overlay. I think the green looks pretty nice and will work as a nice buffer between the blue and purple. This 3D broken glass asset also creates a nice effect for the center, which separates our characters. It also represents the brokenness of their relationship. Beautiful. From here, it's a case of painting in some colors and lighting and adding the final bells and whistles to hopefully make the image sing. And here's what I've ended up with. As you can see, I've continued to build up a few more details, simply repeating certain steps. I decided the characters were getting a little lost in the action, so I've made them slightly bigger, as well as changing the border colors to match the main color themes of the artwork. So again, this was something a little different from the usual, but I hope you enjoyed checking out the process. Be sure to give it a like if you did, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell to stay notified about any new content.